So this is the power of pay to play today. I finally, with the latest redstone given out to JP players, the 100% Gogeta is finally here. Oh my, this is probably the closest I'm going to ever get to a pay to play unit other than Janemba. But in terms of damage, I think Gogeta is going to be a little bit more stronger. So um, this is going to be super insane to see how well he does on a team based around a free-to-play team, essentially. I know this showcase has probably done many, many times, but I'm super excited. It actually kind of looks cool with Gogeta next to Vegito, both doing their beam blast on the left side. Anyway, uh, so let's go through the details of the card, shall we? 20,075 HP, 20,392 attack, and 10,870 defense. Those are the boosts that you get through the orbs. For the leader skill, he's an all types leader for 77% stat boost and three key. He's an EZA unit, so he's level 140 with SA 15, causes immense damage to the enemy and lowers the enemy's attack and defense. He's passive skill, very simple. Attack and defense plus 77%, plus an additional attack plus 7% per key sphere obtained. All of his attacks are effective against all types which is great, so it doesn't matter too much when it comes to versing a specific type or event. Uh, for the hidden potential skill, as you can see, we have a skill orb. This is my first skill orb unit. I thought I'd give it a try. Um, since I got a STR plus two in the additionals and, you know, Gogeta works well with additional super attacks, I thought might as well give it to him. And so we got level 14 additional, uh, level 11 critical and three dodge. With the skill orb, it makes giving level three dodge to units just that more bearable. Um, I don't have anything else in terms of the skill orbs. I just wanted to see and test out the skill orb, honestly. And I don't think you can unequip it. It would have been nice if you could unequip it. Um, but I think it's there permanently now. Which I might have made a bad decision on giving him a two additional, but it's alright. Um, for the link skills, we have Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepared for Battle, Open of Flash, Fuse Fighter, and Fierce Battle. With four categories, soon to be five when the, I'm recording this video. Fusion, Movie Hero, Super Saiyans, Other World Warriors, and he's going to get Last Resort. Last Resort seems like a very OP category to run at the moment. Um, running both LR Vegeta and Gogeta all into one team. Pretty insane. But um, with the team, we're running him under Fusion category with the LR Gogeta. And then we have a Super Battle of Goku as well. We're just going to go up against Freezer's Doken event just so that we don't have to worry about our int units. So let's jump straight into it. Now for the rotations, I'm actually going to have the Super Battle of Goku and the Gogeta together just so for we can have the support. On the other rotation, we'll have Great Saiyan Man because if he gets the 18 key super, the attack that he provides for allies lasts for two turns, which means Gogeta will get it. And I'm um, also going to have Ghost Tanks on the other rotation just so we can form some Rainbow Orbs as well since he relies on getting Rainbow Orbs for additional attack power. Um, so yeah. If we can grab five Rainbow Orbs, that would be the best, but we'll see. And then I have Trunks in here for Fierce Battle. So we're going to see how well he can tank right here first up. Um, we can grab three Rainbow Orbs, getting him to 280,000 attacks. That's 63,000 defense. His defense isn't going to be insane in any way, but... I mean, his attack power and his damage output, more importantly, is going to be crazy. His 12 key multiplier is 150% as well. Almost 2 million attacks that are already off the bat, and we're not even sorted out. And he's already one-shotted the first one, Freezer. 1.7 mil. It's actually crazy that this unit is 4 years old. Time flies. I remember starting this game when this, uh, this guy first came out, so it's pretty crazy. Alright, so we can get the 18 key super like I suggested. Make sure we do not 18 key with Gogeta. Just get the 12 key for now. It's alright. And we'll float him out because we don't need him in this rotation right now. Especially um, trying to ruin and do too much damage to our freezer right here. But yeah, we're starting off strong with the damage. But it can definitely get a lot better. Say if we got the 18 key super with Great Saiyan Man. We also get the 18 key super with the Super Battle of Goku. That would be a good, good, like, terms of attacks that are really good. Okay, let's go through this. This event's going to be really quick, I'd assume. It's going to be a short showcase just because of how good these damaging units are. And we're forced to super attack pretty much all the time if we are on the Great Saiyan Man rotation. But luckily, Freezer doesn't die there. I did bring, like, a very weak Gogeta friend. Um, unfortunately, we uh, cannot grab too many 
rainbow orbs. I think just two at max. Yeah, two at max here. Uh, but we got support this time around. Uh, his defense has increased a little bit, and I think his attack has also increased to also be 400,000 attacks that which is insane so here we go second super 2.2 million attack stat oh man 1.65 million damage <laughs> like i'm you guys might be like oh that's weak that's nothing but i'm like holy crap like consistent over 1 million damage great okay um we need to get a i want to save these purples but also i need to get the 18 key super with... Ooh, unfortunate. Okay. So the most important thing right now is getting the 18 key super with Great Saiyan Man. And maybe... We can... If there's more purples form 18 key super with Super Battle or Goku, but it's very unlikely. So as you can see, the floater spots are all going to be units that have Fierce Battle and Super Saiyan. So that was my goal. So that we can activate those two links pretty much every single time. And also still have a um, Super Battle or Goku in the first slot. So that we can get the 18 key super with him. So that was my decision right there for the team. And I think that's going pretty well. Unfortunately though, the team is so good that we can't really do that much. We can't lose that much HP, shall I say. Unfortunately, the key is a little bit off. So I'm just going to go with that. So we can grab four rainbow orbs here with the purples. Great. That makes it 432k. We'll grab this orange orb so we don't 18 key. We could probably get Freezer to live another round. If we're lucky. 2.4 mil. The, thing keep, the guy keeps increasing, man. The guy keeps increasing. 1.5 mil damage. That's because, obviously, Freezer here is just... Gets tanky and tanky every single time. The Freezer did not survive that whatsoever. It's very hard to balance grabbing rainbow orbs and... You know, getting enough purple orbs to spawn so we can get a decent amount of attack power for the Gogeta. I don't know. We The purple orbs might spawn. Hmm. I'm going to keep trying, though. See if we can get that while still getting the 18 key super here. Oh, we took a decent amount of damage, which I kind of do like because, you know, getting under 50%, which means Super Battle or Goku actually provides us with an extra bit of boost. Which is going to be very good for the showcase. Not sure how it's going to happen. Um, but hopefully it does. And we're going to see some big dammy hopefully in the next turn. Some big dammy. As long as Trunks doesn't kill or anything like that. Okay, good, good, good. Now, can we get the 18 key here? No. I think if we drop those, it would it would work. So I'm going to keep saving these purples for now. Just for the future. I guess we have to grab those ones. Yeah, I think we have to grab these ones. Just for that two rainbow orb. And then we'll do that. All right. 2.2, once again, I'm trying to get that to higher. Trying my best. Oh, just so much damage. Oh my, the, the bar just goes zoom and it's gone. <laughs> Alright, first goal here is to get the 18 key. I think this time we can actually do it. We go like that and go like that. Oh, this might be it. This might be it. Because there's so many rainbow orbs on the right as well. The super attack, please be under 50% as well. I feel like it is. We can't stun here. So we should be good. That was actually might be a good... Yes. I think Great Saiyan should take enough damage and Gogeta as well. In order to actually get under 50%. And this will be the best rotation that we've got. And we got the 18 key here. Come on. Oh, two... That's it? No! <laughs> no! Why did he take double digits? Really? Damn. Alright, we couldn't get the full thing going. 
But hey, we should be able to get three rainbow orbs at the very least. A Tinky Super. This is definitely going to be our best one thus far. Wow, of course. And then the four rainbow orbs spawn. I could reset it for the extra, but um, instead, we're going to use Bulma. <laughs> Screw it! If, we, if you're gonna run under a pay-to-play team, this is more accurate in terms of the in terms of the damage. Five hundred twenty-four thousand attacks. That this is definitely going to be the last super. Unfortunately, we destroyed Freezer so quickly that we couldn't and won't be able to actually. Wow, Goku, flex much? Um, get the Doka mode. But still, I think this is going to be su uh, sufficient enough at the very least. Yeah, super attack me there if you'd like to. Because you are go- Oh, okay. Wow, I wish that Goku- Three million attacks! That, that's all I wanted! Big Tammy incoming! Ah, no crit or additional. <laughs> but still, that was sick. Three million attacks that for the Gogeta. And that is going to wrap up the showcase for Gogeta. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. That is the closest I'll ever get to pay to play. Maybe if they add Margin Vegeta and the um, Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku, the one that just recently got an EZA, um, maybe they will do probably a better job in terms of damage. But so far, I think he was doing the most damage out of all my redstone units. So uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out all my social medias. Link in the description my Twitch second channel, as well as my Twitter. And of course, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Stay busy. Peace out.